This is part five in a series on the book Lifespan by David Sinclair. I'm having a blast doing it because it covers all the topics, not all the topics, but it covers a lot of the topics that I cover in my channel. It's about extending healthy lifespan. And there's a lot of practical applications. There's some geekiness and theory as well, but it gets down to the cellular level. It's not whack-a-mole with every disease that you find out there and trying to stop heart disease or stroke or kidney disease or blindness. It's going back to the cellular and metabolic genetic and epigenetic drivers and stopping that process so we don't have any of these diseases. This one's on fasting, and he mentions his friend, Walter Longo. And there's going to be a couple of things that a lot of folks don't like in this. I'll give you a spoiler. One is caloric restriction really does work. And number two, there are some components to plant-based diets that are not the best for longevity. They have to do with amino acids. So. Without further ado, let's just go on into the, the video. As I said, this is cellular aging. It's not organ-related disease. And so medical schools and medical training is all oriented wrong, sending docs for more years of training to learn how to be a cardiologist or a renal specialist, a nephrologist, a neurologist. Let's move it back up 20 years earlier and stop the cellular processes. Uh, you may remember, uh, I've covered Walter Longo as well. He had a chapter talking about Walter Longo and different types of fasting. He also mentioned uh, what Roy Walford. Those of you that may remember, Roy Walford and Biosphere 2. These guys went into a big aquarium or terrarium in the desert and didn't have external sources of food. They got hungry, really hungry, for a long time. They were there for two years. And so basically it was significant caloric restriction. Roy Walford, as you may remember, was the father of caloric restriction. And he was the mentor for um, Walter Longo. So <clears throat> fasting. We used to think, and this is a, a Sinclair uh, quote, we used to think that fasting gave the body a rest. Actually, it activates coordinated responses. It's clearly one of the most powerful interventions we can rediscover. It's not something new. Rediscover to promote and coordinate changes that do not disrupt the harmony of the human body. Back to Roy Walford. Caloric restriction, 30% friction chronically. That's uh, one of the basics for, for caloric restriction. It's, it's been criticized by Fung and others. They say it decreases the bas basal metabolic rate and it, it's a uh, biggest loser phenomenon in that uh, you gain all the weight back that's not necessarily true. And if you look at this picture of Roy Walford at baseline, when he got out of the Biosphere 2 project and six months later, number one, I told you they got really hungry for a couple of years there. They looked like concentration camp survivors, very thin. But after refeeding, they ended up with better muscularity and in a healthier shape than they were before they went in. So Longo was working with Walford when he was in, when Walford was in the biosphere. He said they used to talk by phone. And he didn't uh, necessarily like all of this chronic uh, restriction. He said it made uh, Walford and others too angry all the time. So Longo went with more of a natural diet. And yes, he did talk about meats and he cut meats out. We'll, call, we'll cover that in just a minute. He, there were two areas in Italy where he focused, the Calabria diet, where he was from, garbanzo beans, minestrone, walnut, olive oil, sauces, olives, nuts, compared to Tuscany and Liguria where you had pastas, heavy meats, and heavy cream sauces. Here's the problem with uh, meat and dairy. Longo said in his book, a typical response of an interview of a centenarian was, meat? Yeah, I had meat. My friends and I snuck into a wedding one time, and we had meat. In other words, they had meat once during their youth they did not eat a lot of meat. And Sinclair brings up the point, again, for all you keto guys, and especially the keto guys that think that means nothing but meat and dairy. 
mTOR inhibition. Pardon me if that's a little bit geeky, but here's the thing. mTOR inhibition, what's it, we'll explain it in just a minute. It forces cells to spend less energy dividing and more on autophagy. In other words, you get less autophagy when you're eating meat and dairy products, and autophagy does decrease inflammation. So I will tell you this. I've got a lot of patients with significant rip-roaring uh, insulin resistance and type 2 diabetes. If, you're only, if, if you need to do meat-based to back that off, then it's far better. It's, uh, everything in life is a trade-off, and I'd rather see you manage your diabetes and insulin resistance um, than give up on that in order to go plant-based. Uh, you can, however, go completely keto plant-based for those of you that are major proponents of it. Sinclair, inhibiting this mTOR is really as simple as limiting meat and dairy. Again, that's reality. I know there's a lot of debate about this that, that issue. I've waffled myself several times. I used to be committed plant-based. Then I backed uh, way off on my plant-based over the past year or so. I have never really gotten into that full-blown keto where all your, or, and clearly not a carnivore type of diet where you're eating nothing but meat and cheese and dairy products. Those of you that don't uh, remember mTOR, a uh, mammalian target of rapamycin, David Sabatini won a, uh, some sort of really big award for his work there and may end up winning a Nobel Prize at some point for it. Again. Um, <clears throat> won't go any deeper on that. If you're interested in mTOR and autophagy and David Sabatini, I've got a couple of videos on that. Uh, we talked before about how both Longo and Sinclair did a lot of work on just lowly baker's yeast, Saccharomyces cerevisiae, because that helped both of them understand a little bit more the impacts of genetics, epigenetics, and in Longo's perspective, uh, the things that he did for, for different types of fasting. If you've made it this far, thank you very much for your interest. Looking forward to seeing you in uh, Louisville, November 8th and 9th. Get all your labs, your arterial scan, spend time one-on-one -on -one with me, and um, two days of intense focus on how to prevent your heart attack, stroke, dementia, blindness, kidney disease, erectile dysfunction. Looking forward to seeing you there.